Hi students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and the Industrial Chemistry topic and uh, video number 25 on the Solvay process. Now this is the last section of the Industrial Chemistry topic and it's the last process that you need to have a look at. So let's get into it. So the Solvay process is about producing sodium carbonate. So in this topic, we've already looked at uh, quantifying equilibrium. Uh, we also looked at replacements um, for natural products as we started. Uh, then we looked at the process for producing sulfuric acid and then um, for sodium hydroxide, then for soaps or detergents. And now the final one we're going to have a look at is the industrial production of sodium carbonate. Because it too is an industrially important compound, have a look at some of the different uses of sodium carbonate as we go along. Uh, it's an alkaline substance like sodium hydroxide, but a couple of things about it. First of all, it's a weaker base, and also it's cheaper to produce, in, particularly in large quantities. The Solvay process is the name that we give to the production process used for uh, sodium carbonate. Now, some of the uses of sodium carbonate that we can just briefly talk about include uh, wash, well, washing soda is um, a hydrated form of sodium carbonate. Um, and uh, I guess you're looking at soda ash um, as the dehydrated form. So when there's uh, water in the crystals, we, m we may have looked at that earlier in things like um, the hydrated form of copper sulfate, for example. Um, so when you hydrate the soda ash or the basic sodium carbonate, you get washing soda. The sodium carbonate is used in the making of glass for bottles and, and so forth, windows, uh, soda glass. Water softening agents, uh, sodium carbonate is used for that, um, again, because it's going to um, act as a precipitate for the calcium ions. Um, soaps and detergents can be made with um, sodium carbonate involved in the process, paper making, um, sodium carbonate is very good for um, cleaning spills, particularly um, if it's um, slightly changed into bicarb of soda, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Um, it's one of those great um, amphiprotic substances that can be used to clean up both acid and basic skill, uh, spills. It's also useful in fire extinguishers, and it's one of the important primary standards for titration volumetric analysis. So it has a great range of different uses, and it's a very important industrial chemical. If we're going to produce sodium carbonate uh, through the Solvay process, then that is our desired product. To do that, we start with two primary raw materials, brine, which is salt water, so the sodium chloride is going to be important here, as well as the water, and also limestone, and limestone is calcium carbonate. That's the key component out of the limestone that we're interested in. Now, this process, as you probably can guess, if you look at the sodium, um, basically just swapping over here and here, one of these um, raw materials um, that the, the two raw materials combining together give us our desired product, but they also give us a waste product too. And that waste product is calcium chloride. Now, some calcium chloride is useful, and we'll see some uses for that, but um, not all of it. So um, there are uh, implications on the production of the waste product calcium chloride. And just before we leave this and start talking about the Solvay process in a little bit more detail, it's worth mentioning ammonia is an important raw material and must be present in order for this process to be at its most efficient. Um, but most, a very, very large percentage of the ammonia is actually recycled in the Solvay process. So whilst it's required to start the process, um, most of that ammonia is continually recycled through the process. And we'll have a look at that in the next video uh, when we analyze the Solvay process using a flowchart. Thanks for watching.